we're getting the same stuff. We're not getting any straight answers. And that's what's aggravating. That's why this is happening, is we're not getting any straight answers. Several dozen students protested outside a Hawassi College campus building today, desperately trying to understand why leaders decided to close that school for good. The meeting was originally open to students and alumni, but leaders didn't let them in. That college is located in Madisonville in Monroe County. Leaders announced the closure last week, citing financial difficulties and low enrollment. But students aren't ready to give up without understanding what brought leaders to that decision. Here's 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes. Students were outraged Friday to learn they couldn't attend a meeting between Hiawassee College leaders and faculty. We've all been dying to talk to the board and get answers that make sense other than what we've been told. Last week, the 170-year-old college announced it would close its doors for good, citing financial reasons and low enrollment. But students say they are hurt, confused, and struggling to find a plan. I'm three years deep into a degree on some credits that don't transfer. Students, alumni, and teachers say they cherish the college for its small, close community. Come spend a day on our campus and see what's going on before you make this decision. And, I'm, and, and we all know it comes back to money. It comes back to money. You have to have money to operate. But I think if certain things were done and, and the alumni were notified a little better, I think we, I, I, this whole thing could have been prevented. Some faculty came out of the meeting saying they might not get paid through the entirety of their contract. A few hours after the meeting was scheduled to end, the president of the school, Robin Tricoli, gave a brief statement. So I appreciate you all being here. We have no further information to share at this time. That was Stephanie Haynes reporting. There will be a meeting for students and parents next week and alumni meeting as well set for April 27th.